Well, hey, it's Steve at Thousand Year Home. So I'm uh, officially moved out of my apartment here and I uh, had to drive a half hour to, to a post box. My uh, address, even though I bought that property, uh, oh gosh, six months ago, still isn't showing up. So I, I drove personally down to the postal service to find out what was wrong. And there was one digit wrong, I guess, in the abstract. So anyway, I'm working on that. and. Uh, We'll see how that all goes. But Little Flatonia. Now, uh, I've, I've lived here 30 miles north of here for years and years and years. And this is the very first time I've ever been to this little town. Let me rotate it. So, yeah, in these rural communities, I had 30 miles to my nearest post of box. It's just really something. So, there's a, that's a post office right there. They're super friendly. So, just a little bit of old town i don't know if i'll ever have a reason to come here again my address is flatonia but i'm i'm pretty far from flatonia i'm closer to some other cities real pretty little town though across the uh across the uh railroad tracks there there's some other odds and ends so all right so now the postal uh postmaster said if i uh if i wait seven days i should see my address finally they <laughs> finally show up and then uh, of course I've got to just hold mail right stop mail and uh, hopefully nobody's sending me anything important <laughs> but I can't forward because I don't have an address yet and uh, man it's just been one thing after another way out in these rural things uh, nothing's fast but listen this has been six months of slow and uh, ain't that a geological oddity I'm six months away from everything <laughs> well, hopefully this this ended this problem. We'll, we'll find out though. I bet you not. I bet you I'll be back here in a month trying to straighten this out some more. All right. Well, this is Steve for Thousand Year Homes, and one more time, Flatonia, Texas. There you go. Take it all in. Drink it in. Looky here. Excessive heat warning. It is so hard to work. Only 93 right now, but trust me, it's 106. <laughs> really, when I'm in the sun. Alexa, what's the weather? Right now in Flatonia, it's 94 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. <laughs> Today's forecast has mostly sunny weather with a high of 105 degrees and a low of 78 degrees. By the way, there's an excessive heat warning for that area Sunday, July 10th, 1 p.m. to Monday, July 11th. 8 p.m. Well, hey everybody, this is Steve at Thousand Years Home. So one of the things that's been taking me the longest is getting my uh, abstract turned into a 911 address so that I can get mail. And I still don't have mail, <laughs> but looky, there I got a mailbox. Perspex, 41 inches high, and uh, oh, I think two foot off the road if I recall, but uh, it's U.S. Postal Service, so... Uh, the little box comes with instructions, but I still needed to look up out in rural how to mount it. But 41 to 45 inches high, and that's how high it is there. The one neighbor there is too low, but I'm not going to say anything. The rest of everybody else's is the right height. But uh, I have heard those mail carriers say, because they're reaching in, reaching in, reaching in, reaching in. When they have them all the same height, that it's better on their shoulders. So uh, it's more than just rules, right? But we're trying to help somebody. But look. I've got a mailbox. I'm Unit K. I'm in good shape out here in the middle of nowhere. Uh, so the Postal Service doesn't go down my road because it's a private road. And then once you get done with my private road, you still have another quarter mile or half mile drive to my house. So uh, I am not expecting. But the thing I needed, I got my post hole digger. I was able to get down two foot with that. My chainsaw to level it, uh, cut it off at the right height couple of screws and there's my box all my goodies on it and see they they tell you at least the uh, assembly where they where you want them the boards so then they were spot on so I uh, I got myself a 15 and a half inch board and a fit and notice I, I got a jumbo size mailbox now this side I was able to get the screws in on it but that side I won't that mailbox is blocking it so, but look inside, good design. So I've got screws all the way around it. 
front and back. So the U.S. Postal Service should be proud of me. And that's a cedar log that I, I logged myself and, and lasts a thousand years. But I stripped the bark off of it and put some borax on it. So maybe it'll last 15. <laughs> it's not if a bunch of kids in a tractor don't run it over. Uh, rural people don't have, kids don't have much to do other than ride around on ATVs and do crazy things, vandalize mailboxes or whatever. So, but, all right, well, one, one more job checked off, a little tiny one, but there you have it. I can officially receive, almost officially receive mail. I've still got a week before they could convert my address, they said. So that has been a six months journey. Ain't that a geological oddity? I out here six months to get a mailbox converted from the time I bought the land and converted the uh, abstract ID, which is totally messed up down at the county clerk. I had to do three or four visits down there to get the right number, one digit off, and it, it's populated in all of the data. And then they changed everybody's 911 address out there because it's a private road, and they decided they didn't like how it was numbered. And so here I am. Uh, Six months later, still can't get mail out, but I've been I've been putting this address in, and we'll see whether or not it can arrive. But if you put it in Google, you'll never find this place. Uh, maps, if you put it in any map. But um, I'm hoping the U.S. Postal Service. I met with the postmaster. He was a nice guy, and he told me the name of the carrier that's going to be my carrier. So I've got confidence. And in fact, <clears throat> it was 30 mile drive <laughs> just to get to the nearest post office. That's my post office. And when I told him that I'm on a, a cove, I, I, all I had to do, he knew the road. I just had to say the K part of my, of my road. I knew the road. So uh, I've got faith that this thing will get done. So this is Steve at Thousand Year Homes and uh, 106 degrees, everybody. 106 degrees. And I'm out here working. Thanks much for tuning in. Hey, like and subscribe. Bye-bye.